Artificial intelligence is constantly evolving, completely changing the software development landscape, and I'd say it's for the better. We need to adapt to these changes, so today let's talk a bit about the software, soft skills and hard skills we need to adapt to this new paradigm. Hey everyone, how it's going? My name is Julio Arruda and today um, we're going to talk about the importance of both soft skills and hard skills in the software development life cycle with artificial intelligence. Every day we see some news about artificial intelligence or some comments on social media about the possibility of uh, the AI replacing the software developers, but um, it's a tough a topic that generates a, a lot of controversy. Recently, there has, uh, was a buzz on social media about an AI that supposedly acts as a software engineering, but I don't believe that technologies will replace developers. To me, Microsoft and GitHub really hit on the mark with the name they gave uh, of the product, Copilot. Here you can see uh, that the idea isn't to remove the developer from the equation. Uh, on the contrary, uh, as the name suggests, it's essential to have someone piloting it all. And AI will help us to improve our time spent coding, tests, and among other activities. Interesting, GitHub conducted a very insightful survey on the relationship between developers and artificial intelligence tools. And the conclusion was a very revealing. Basically, AI can be used as an extra brain, helping the developers to more efficient, not just in the simple task as a crude, for example. This efficiency can be reflected in various issues, such as learning uh, as new language or creating quality solutions to solve not only the simplest problem, but also those of high complex. I, I, I even like to, to cite my personal example. Lately, I've been needing to program something uh, in the Python, but um, the small detail is that I hadn't studied much uh, of the language. And I'm learning everything with GitHub Copilot and it's help, it helped me considerable. Uh, with most of my Python deliveries. Things that could take me hours or even days, I'm solving in much less time. So, people always ask me if chosen learners uh, to programming uh, should use an AI. A few months ago, I might have said maybe not, but today, after using it so frequently and seeing everything it can do, uh, well, not everything, since there are still a lot to evolve. Uh, but I would say yes, learners should already be using AI and it's a powerful ally if you know how to use it. And in today's video, we're going to talk precisely about this team. I want to bring some tips on what you need as a developer to work with AI. But before that, let me take this opportunity to ask you to leave your like here on this video, also you comment, uh, and also comment here if you use any, any AI tool to development uh, like GitHub Copilot uh, and uh, another tool and what you think about it, if it's really being useful in your day to day or not. And go ahead and subscribe to the channel and share this video on your social network. I don't intend to delve deeply into this topic so as not to make this video too long, but did you know that using AI to write code is not a recent thing? One attempt to create something along these lines back to the 5th when IBM created Outcoder, which translates symbolic language into the machine language simplifying the coding tasks. Over the years, we had uh, other tools also focused on coding, which helped to pave the way for current AI tools and what was once limited to development IDE is evolving to touch uh, the entire software development life cycle, exponentially increasing team productivity. Another GitHub survey conducted in 2023 with 500 developers from the USA showed that over 18% reported improvements in team collaboration and another thing I find very relevant here is that team reported the 55% productive gain in programming tasks with AI, which uh, with by itself is fantastic. Imagine gaining this 
this product in your day. Cool, isn't it? But as I said, AI in development is not limited to your ID, right? Here are some things I've seen uh, with AI for development. For example, the code generation and suggestion directly in the IDE with tools like GitHub Copilot, AWS Code Whisper, and among others. Uh, the code review with GitHub Copilot Enterprise, for example. And code documentation, among any other things may, po may possible uh, here, we have a lot of possibilities. But the issue of this video isn't what we can do or cannot do with AI, is it? The intent here is the hard skills and soft skills we need to work with AI in your daily lives in the best possible way. So let's talk a bit more about that. Regarding hard skills, I always say to those who ask me, the most important point is prompt engineering. After all, our means of interaction with generative AI today, whether through, uh, through GitHub Copilot or even ChatGPT, is by asking. If you don't ask the right question, the answer will probably be wrong or not the best possible option. So here are my suggestions on this. Be as clear as possible in your question and also specific. If you ask to generic question or without many details, your answer will not be very good or the best option. You need to improve details and context and be clearly. And here you can take advantage of another thing, especially from the tools that provide you uh, with a chat interface, like a GitHub Copilot chat, for example, uh, which uh, would be asking an additional question. So the initial answer uh, wasn't good. Give more information and ask for a GitHub Copilot to improve the answer. This will help a lot. And a, a golden rule. Don't blindly believe in the generated code. Validate, test, review, see if everything is okay, because in the end, AI also makes mistakes. So always validate again. Another very important skill, which may seem senseless, is the ability to review code. I know I mentioned it before that GitHub Copilot Enterprise have a code review functionality, uh, which is basically analyzing your change and bringing information to your pull request explaining what is being changed, but an effective code review uh, goes much beyond that. Today, we have a lot of things being generated by AI, and as, uh, as I just said, uh, we can't blindly believe what AI generated. After all, the LLMs were trained with a massive amount of data, including programming codes, but AI might not understand nuances and we do or even the business rules of the companies we are working for. So you need to know how to analyze what the code is doing, using review tools like GitHub Copilot to understand what the code proposes to do and analyze if it really makes sense. This will help a lot to ensure everything is okay. And about soft skills. Well, uh, one that's very important is communication skills. You might be wondering, but Julio, you are talking about developing with AI. What does communication have to with it? It has everything to do with it, young Padawan. Communication in daily life is essentially for you uh, to get along with your team members and other people related to the project. But have you ever stopped to think that when you are creating the prompting in natural language, it's like you are talking to another person. So your communication skills will be very useful here to create a good and well thought out prompts. Another skill is a problem solving and this for me it's important with or without AI since we encounter many challenges in day-to-day -day software development and problems always happen and we need critical and creative thinking to solve the problems and in the case of AI, we can use its creativity, for example, to help, to help to adjust the prompt to get more interesting support, for example. Another very important issue, especially with AI, is having ethical thinking, because especially if you are creating a solution that uses an AI service, 
you need to ensure, for example, that your application does not have a specific, a specific bias. You need to guarantee the privacy of information, transparency, among a few other issues. There are still other skills we can consider here, but I think it will make the video too long. So, uh, leave here in the comments which other skills you think are important for tools working with AI in software development. Drop up here, AI still has a lot to evolve and a lot to improve in the area of software development. And once again, not to replace us, but to support us, give us more productivity and the possibility to think more and more about solving problems and with these evolutions. We will continue needing adapt and new skills may be necessary in the future, so let's follow this wonderful new world and see how far we can go. So that's for today, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe in the channel and see you in the next video, bye bye.